Hi guys, James here from QSC UK, and it's that time again, a new QSYS Designer firmware version, it's 9.4, and this version includes a whole load of new hardware features, new control updates, and video improvements as well. On the hardware side, we've added support for the new TSC Generation 3 touchscreen controllers, the NL series network loudspeakers, and QIO, which is of course the new audio and control expanders for QSYS. And we've been working on these products for a while, so it's great to see them make their way into a QSYS Designer release. One other really important update in QSYS Designer 9.4 is the addition of the new scaling licenses for the Core Nano and the Core 8 Flex. And what these licenses effectively allow you to do is to double your processing power and add specific features to these cores where you need them. So this means you're only paying for the features that you really need, and it also future-proofs current installations using those products. Now we split these into two categories. We have the collaboration bundle and the commercial AV bundle. Both of these will double your general purpose audio processing power and will also double the number of QLAN or AES67 inputs and outputs that you have via the network. But the collaboration bundle will also double your AEC processing, will also mean that you can use six NMT1 microphones rather than three and double the number of soft phones from two to four. Whereas the commercial AV bundle will let you increase the number of QSYS peripherals to 48, and will also increase the number of media stream and WAN transmitters and receivers that you can have running on those cores. On the video side, one big improvement is to camera previews. So these now run at 30 frames per second on the new TSC Generation 3 and also on the Windows UCI Viewer application. We've also added more control to routing these multicast video packets via the network. You can now change the TTL for those packets in Core Manager. And also we've made changes to the default bitrate for the NC range of cameras. So this just means that you will get better video quality in a larger range of lighting conditions on those cameras. With the introduction of MediaCast, we now have the ability to present a smooth camera preview for our UCIs. Here I've got a fairly straightforward design. I've got a Core 110F and an NC 20x60 camera. And if I open the UCI viewer, you can see that I have the typical one frame per second JPEG preview camera stream that's been around for a few firmware versions. However, if I go to the camera component in the design and I enable the preview stream in the MediaCast Streams tab, we can see that the UCI now has a smooth 30 frame per second camera preview without having to change any other part of our design. This feature is available for the new third generation TSC touch panels and the Windows UCI Viewer application, and it works with all the QSYS cameras, that's the entire NC range and the older PTZ range as well. Lastly, on the control side, we've added support for drawing SVG graphics using a Lua library during runtime. And you can use this for all sorts of things. You could use this to draw a graph of SPL level over time, or perhaps put a custom EQ curve on a UCI. Anything you can draw with SVG graphics can now be drawn using Lua in QSYS. 9.4 adds the Easy SVG Lua library, which allows us to draw an SVG graphic in QSYS in real time. As a simple example, here we have a small script which draws a pie chart based on the parameters given on the right hand side here. You can see that as we change these values, the pie chart updates itself in real time. And of course, you can use this on a UCI and you can use this library to draw pretty much anything you want to inside of QSYS. QSYS Designer 9.4 now allows you to design controls in a much more detailed way using CSS. As a simple example, in this CSS file, we have the class knob that has multiple background images assigned to different values of the control. If we scroll down, we can see we have the class meter, which has been given the same treatment, but of course with some different images. And we've also done the same thing with LED and with fader. So how does this actually look on our UCI? Well, here you can see that we have a meter and a gain knob. And as we change the value of this gain knob, we're actually moving through those different images for each state or each position of that control. And we can see the meter changing in the same way. And here we have a far more useful example where we have a cat's paw moving a fader up as we push that fader and an LED changing in brightness. These are just some examples of the new ways in which you can use images to style controls in QSYS. 
In 9.4 we have the new multi-state trigger control. This is basically a trigger button that can also store a value and pressing the trigger doesn't automatically change the value. That can all be controlled as two separate events using your script. In this particular example, every time I click the trigger button, it cycles through three states with a different color and value. This is very useful for power buttons that, for example, have an on and an off and a standby state. And it also allows us to have the button behave differently depending on its current state. So to summarize, we have an upgraded hardware portfolio. The ability to customize UCIs more than ever before, giving a better user experience, improved video features and video quality, and now the ability to customize your QCIS Core's power using software. But of course, that's not the only features in Designer 9.4. Go and download it today at qsc.com and check out the release notes for all the other features that we've added.